I'm not really that nervous about making my first documentary. I'm really only nervous about two things. One, I've never used this really fancy technology before. Like, I don't even know how to use this camera. And two, you know, I'm doing this for the International Documentary Film Festival of America, which is a big deal. Duh. And I want to just prove myself to these professional filmic. Oh shit. I left the lens cap on. Well, I'm John Johnston, and this is my first documentary. I think it's in focus now. Alright, so in just a couple hours I'll be flying out to Los Angeles, California. I'm going to be meeting Chip Duncan, who my first documentary is about. He is a hunter of exotic animals, and I'm very excited to make my first documentary on him. Alright, let's go to California. I'm so excited, I've never been. Going to California, going to California. So uh, here I am in Glendale, California, approaching Mr. Dunkson's, Duncan's residence. I'm coming up the stairs to knock on Mr. Duncan's door. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna knock on the door here. See if he's home. I hope he's home. I just flew all the way from Austin, Texas for this. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Hello? Mr. Duncan? I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna shut the door. Hello? Mr. Duncan? Hello? I feel weird being in here. What the fuck is that? Hello there! Holy shit! Welcome. Scared the fuck out of you, man. <laughs> How are you? I'm Chip Duncan. You're John Johnson? No, John Johnston. Johnson. No, Johnston. John Johnston. <laughs> John Johnston, yeah, John Johnston. I just, uh, I just landed. I came directly from the Lax Airport. Oh, the Lax Airport? Yeah, Lax Airport. I was gonna, I was gonna fly into Burbank, but <laughs> it was like $200 more or something like that, so I decided to just fly into Lax. In La Lax Airport. All right, Chip Duncan. I'm sorry. Don't you need to put a microphone? No, I don't. No, no, no. <laughs> no. See, my camera and the secondary camera, they have microphones built inside of the camera. I'm using oh. top of the line fucking technology. Okay. I see. I don't. The guys in the movie, like when you see them using the big boom mics, I don't. I don't understand it. <laughs> like, they have, we have cameras with microphones built in the camera, and these jackasses using million dollar movies with boom. Right. Okay, I got you. <laughs> All right. Sorry, you're getting me going. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited, okay? This is my first documentary. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chip Duncan. So, um, I'm just going to ask you a couple questions about what it is that you do. Yeah. So, I guess question one. I'm sorry. Are you wearing fake glasses? Are those prescription glasses? They're fake glasses, okay? Okay. I just... I just want to look like a real fucking filmmaker, okay? I'm out here, I flew to California, I'm trying to look like a real filmmaker, I'm trying to make a documentary, okay? Alright, listen, I don't even just... know what it is that you do. It's okay, well, let's just continue like... the interview. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Duncan. So, in your letter to me, you described that you are a retired hunter of the animals. You didn't really describe, though, like what your experiences were, or like what you exactly hunted. So can you tell me what did you hunt? Well, I know I asked you out here because there's a specific animal in California that's very rare in other places. And this is the only state that has them. Okay. What I didn't tell you is that these animals are vampire horses. <laughs> I know nobody takes this seriously. But that's why I took you out here because I know that you have an interest in this and I need somebody else to listen to this. This has to get out there. Vampire horses. Vampire horses. Like, like horses that are vampires. Yes. They exist here, 
And what I need for you is to bring your documentary camera and film myself going out there. I'm retired. I don't do this anymore. If you'd like, I could take you to the spot where I last saw them. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom. I'm interviewing uh, Mr. Chip Duncan, and he's talking to me about how he hunts vampire horses. This guy is fucking nuts. Are you almost ready in there? Yeah. Got the car all warmed up. Yeah, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm done, alright? I'm coming. Fucking came out to California for nothing. Let's do it to it. What is a vampire horse? Like, is the, do they bite humans and turn humans into vampires? Or do they... Or are they just biting other horses? Vampire horses do not hurt humans at all. They only bite other horses. The so, so by that logic, you're telling me that uh, there, like, there's actually no immediate threat to humans? Not to humans, no. They'll come close to us, but they won't see us as a threat, and we're no threat to them. Okay, well, we're on our way out to uh, a certain place in uh, Glendale, California, where the vampire horses supposedly come out at night and uh, our goal is to capture one on camera you know everyone knows how to kill a vampire you know you, you do the wooden stake through the heart <clears throat> we kill them up close we have to let them come to us and once they do we have to try our best to just ram it in the heart pretty much and a lot of people have not made it so tonight they will be out yeah but I just have like this kind of overwhelming doubt of, of a vampire horse existing. Alright, well, let's cut this interview and actually go up there. Let's take a drive up there. And uh, I'm just curious, so don't you think it's kind of dangerous to be coming out here with that, without any weapons? We won't need any weapons. I'm going to take you to the spot where they're just a few yards off, so we'll be seeing them from a distance, so don't worry, you'll be okay. This is the place? Yep. This is the place. Right. We have to park here. We can't go farther than this side. Alright, so I guess we gotta walk. Right, from here on out, keep quiet. Keep a little low voice because they can hear you from about 30 miles. Just like out of all the places in California, I feel like they wouldn't be near like a major highway. They're looking for other horses, not other people. Remember that. This is the last spot that we saw him at. So, this is where we saw Tommy, last survivor of the vampire horses. And I had to retire right after this. So, when you and I go together... <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is that, dude? What the fuck? Shh, be quiet. Dude, dude, dude. Shh, be quiet. There's something out there. I saw something. Okay, just shut up. Just shut your fucking mouth. He's gonna come, come right behind us. Just shut up. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, dude! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Dude, what the fuck? What the Oh my god. Oh my god. Chip. Chip. Oh my god. Dude, fucking vampire horses are fucking real. Holy shit. Something has chip. Oh! Dude. Chip. Alright. I gotta go get Chip. Chip! 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 Get me out of here! Chip! Wait, shh, shh, be quiet, be quiet, Chip! Chip, be quiet, be quiet, Chip! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's coming! Chip! Chip, come on! Chip, come on! Chip, come on! Chip! Please come! Poor Chip. Chip didn't deserve that. 
the worst thing about all of this is that the International Documentary Film Festival of America, they wouldn't even take my footage. They said it looked like I harmed Chip. And then they sent my footage to the cops. I think I might be in trouble. Poor Chip. I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! Bullshit! This is bullshit! Put your hands behind your back! I didn't do anything! Put your hands behind your back! Do it now! My name is John Johnston. I didn't do anything! It was the vampire horses! It was the vampire horses!